eyes opened into pitch dark. The window slammed shut, and the animal cry I'd heard in my dream morphed into the windscreen outside. I reached over and fumbled on a dimple switch, and the lamplight pushed the night away. I glanced at my watch. 3 a.m.? The bulb wavered, a slow blink between light and dark. I jumped out of bed and I raced the window. The view shifted and danced through the swaying branches of the oak, leaves stripped away in flowing patterns. The house shuddered and rain hammered onto the roof. Overhead, scudding storm clouds had swallowed the moon whole. I could just make out the windsock through the thick veil of rain, streaming straight out and bedding its pole right over. The wind howled and the sock broke loose, streaking into the gloom like an orange missile. The rain pelted down and I let out a long whoop. My door slammed open and Mom burst in. At last! I rushed to her and we span round in a mad hugging dance. There's going to be some serious red faces for the weatherman missing this storm, she said. I laughed. This is just what the farmers needed. What we needed. Booming thunder covered the rest of my words. I ran to the window and saw a colossal cloud boiling across the sky. The window bowed in and out with the gusts and Mum joined me, pressing her face to the glass. A funnel of darkness rotated down, vapours cabling around it. She gripped my arm. Twister, she whispered. God damn, it's massive. We watched the spout thick into the sides of a moor. The outer storm moor barreled straight towards the old hangar and began tearing panels of metal from the roof. Mum gasped. We've got to get down to the shelter now. She headed for the door. I hauled a sweatshirt and pants on and flew after her, bare feet slipping on a wooden floor. She unlatched the front door. The handle tore from her fingers and a storm bellowed into the house. Bending our bodies into the gale, we staggered outside. Stinging rain halted my face and blurred my vision. Mom grabbed my hand. This way, she shouted over the roar. Clutching onto each other, we took one heaving step after another over the yard towards the shutters of the underground storm shelter. Dirt swept into my mouth and clogged my lungs, making me choke. Cupped my hand and breathed through it, I stared at the coiled vapour revolving around the trunk of the twister, a crazy sculpture come to life. Chunks of earth and trees spiralled around the spout. The destruction echoed through my heart and a single thought filled my head. Beautiful.